Michelle, what is your knowledge of the men's soccer team? Very little, although I know that they are world champions. Heck yeah. Okay, <laughs> so in 2012, so this year, what do you think their recruiting class rank was? Second. Uh, number one. Heck yeah! <laughs> what do you mean? Not quite sure, actually. I'm not, I don't keep up on sports very well, but I do know a lot about our soccer team, about yep. the players. Do you have a guess? No. <laughs> um, second. I'm going to say seven. We're actually first. Nice. Excellent. Right? Go team. Go team. Go, Go Zips. Zips. <laughs> Number one. Exactly. Welcome back to the Sports Report. And now that we have got baseball and softball covered, let's flip it over to some spring soccer. Yes, ma'am, we can do that. Caleb Porter and company opened up a spring schedule of five games, four of those at home, on Friday, April 6th. The Pitt Panthers came into First Energy Stadium as we got our first glimpse of Zip Soccer in 2012. Akron came out on top with a 2-1 win. Two first half goals from Eric Stevenson in the 12th and 32nd minute fueled the Zips as it outpaced the Panthers goal in the 23rd minute. UA posted a 9-1 edge in shots on goal and a 7-0 advantage in corner kicks. Now Saturday played as the latter half of back-to-back -back weekend games for the team, as Colgate came into Akron looking to make it a little less peaceful of a spring for Caleb Porter. Gates open early for this spring matchup with the Raiders as Caleb Porter looks to get a good measuring stick on his guys. The Zips would come out attacking early as Aiden Quinn would send a free kick just wide of the goal. The attack would continue as the game remained scoreless for the first 26 minutes, but cue up a Scott Caldwell pass to Ronaldo Brennis would find the back of the net and it's a one nothing Akron lead. The Zips kept it rolling here in the 40th minute as Eric Stevenson with a nice touch here scores his third goal in two nights. The chip in would make it a two nil. Coming out of the half with the two goal lead, the chances kept coming for the Zips, but it was the Raiders who would find the net with the goal in the 64th as Mike Reedy would provide the spark with the quick strike here, making the game a little more interesting for last year's Patriot League champs. Looking to preserve and build on their lead, Akron pushed it into the lower third repeatedly, but couldn't get their third goal of the night, settling for the one goal victory and a 2-0 start to their spring. Now, Coach Porter has done remarkable things for the men's soccer program and the university as a whole, but he has also made waves outside the college realm. For more on that, we send it to David Coy. Caleb Porter has had many honors since his start as head coach at Akron. Five MAC Coach of the Year awards, six straight MAC championships, and a national championship. In his short career as head coach, he has brought a lot of credit to the Akron program. He was rumored to take an MLS head coaching job back in 2009, but decided to stay in Akron. Eric! Old. On October 20th, 2011, Porter was named the head coach of the Olympic U23 team for the United States and recruited four of his old players from UA. When he was leading the U23 team, Porter had a win, a loss, and a tie. In the final match for the team, they tied El Salvador 3-3 and ended up not qualifying for the Olympics. But the U.S. still stands by hiring Coach Porter. I learned last fall we have a pretty good team, but I, but I learned also we were missing a little bit of penetration. I thought there were games last season where teams sat deep on us. So they know they're not going to keep us off the ball. They know they're not going to open up and run with us. You know, that means that we're going to have to be sharp and we're going to have to have individual players that can break the game open through pace and through uh, creativity. Coming off the disappointment in the semifinal loss, as well as the loss in the U23 match, head coach Caleb Porter is more focused coming into next season and looking for another national championship. For the ZTV Sports Report, I'm David Coy. Now the soccer season everyone on campus is looking forward to obviously comes in the fall. But right now, it's time for some baseball. And this week, we caught up with one zip in particular, a right-handed senior bringing heat from the mound. Let's take a closer look. Hi, I'm Andrew Brown. I'm starting pitcher for the University of Akron baseball team. I played baseball my entire life. I started when I was probably about five years old. My dad's love of baseball. He never really played it growing up, but uh, it's something that he's always had a passion for. The coaching staff has really brought fun back into the game. And obviously when we need to get down to business, we get to it. You know, doing the small things that you wouldn't really think about, but just, you know, getting like, like Coach Rembrandt, he'll get on his hands and knees, you know, working on, you know, slides and that kind of stuff. And that's, you feel like it's a basic thing in baseball, but sometimes 
you know, people don't know how to do or aren't as good. So it's just the smaller things that I see that I you know, didn't in the years past. Mainly for me, you know, I just want to do what I can to make this, you know, help our team win and make it to the tournament. And I haven't in my, you know, three years pri prior to this, and we definitely have the squad and the coaching staff to be able to do that this year. So we were one game away my freshman year, and that has been the goal since day one. The nerves are always going to be there. I still get the pregame jitters. I've been pitching for over a decade now. But I just try to just relax and clear my mind. And when I get in the game, I get put my game face on and you know, get down to business. Now that's all the time we have left for this edition of the ZTV Sports Report. But keep up with us online for updates from the sports team. You know we have you covered. We are your home for Akron Athletics. From DJ David, D, myself, and the entire Sports Report crew, we'll see you next time on the ZTV Sports Report. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. To find out how you can make Emmy-winning media, visit the UA School of Communication online. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference.